What's up everybody, welcome to money management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And on today's video I will show you the latest news directly related to our story. I will show you the news uh, from Next Bridge Hydrocarbons, which increases uh, again the intrinsic value of its shares. Then I will show you a very important and useful news not only for MMTLP community, but this news is very important for the entire market and uh, this news improves uh, the transparency on the market in general. Then I will continue with the news uh, that shows us that uh, the pressure on Gary Gensler is uh, still uh, extremely high and uh, potentially we will see this resolution through the subpoena. And uh, before we dive deep into all of this, I want to kindly ask you to hit the like button for YouTube algorithm. It takes me more than four hours of uh, hard work on a daily basis uh, and I want to exchange uh, this uh, hard work for a split of a second of your time. Just hit the like button and you will help me to push uh, this uh, video forward to broad audience. Eventually it will help us to win our battle. So let's start with the news itself. We are on a Junk Savvy Twitter account and she wrote this 16 hours ago. Breaking news, Nextbridge Hydrocarbons enters into, into participant agreement to fund Johnson Prospect drilling program. And let me show you this uh, press release. It was published on October 13th and it says uh, this rich hydrocarbons entered into and closed the transaction described uh, in 25 separate, separate participation agreements, uh, pursuant to which the investor participants party to such participant agreements uh, collectively funded the cost of drilling $7 million, which will be used to 1. Acquire the rights uh, to drill on the Johnson Prospect and 2. Finance the drilling of five vertical wells in approximately 17,000 acre Johnson Prospect in Hudspeth County, Texas, which is a portion of the company's Our Ground Prospect, in connection with the company's 2023 drilling program requirements under its uh, University Lands Drilling and Development Unit Agreement. And uh, I have to say that uh, it is a huge improvement uh, in intrinsic value of uh, Nextbridge Hydrocarbon shares, because for now, and I showed you this uh, information just uh, several days ago. Uh, we know that uh, they already drilled two new wells, uh, number six and number seven, and five more wells uh, will increase uh, the total number to uh, 12 wells. And this means we will know more about uh, the real amount of uh, oil and gas uh, inside uh, this Oro Grande prospect. And uh, this will definitely improve uh, the uh, intrinsic value of the company. And uh, here you can see the terms of uh, this agreement. Uh, the company will own 25% of working interest as uh, described below and 18.75% in net revenue interest in each well. And uh, in my opinion, it is a very good step towards uh, the increase in this value. And I have to say that uh, this shows that uh, uh, C-Level's executives uh, from Next Bridge are working hard in order to improve uh, these fundamentals. So, let me show you another news. Uh, we are on Investor Tour for official Twitter account. And uh, as you can see, 14 hours ago, he wrote, breaking news, again breaking news. It's official. The rules got approved. SEC made a rule to make uh, the securities lending market more clear. And uh, Hester Pierce voted against it. And uh, he refers to his own tweet. And let me show you what is he talking about. Uh, this is the article that was published just several hours ago. And uh, let me quote you this in detail. US financial regulators are poised to implement new rules this week, necessitating swift disclosure of securities borrowing transactions, a move aimed uh, at enhancing transparency in the market. Short sellers and other market participants often uh, hedge funds betting on declining security values, typically borrow stock and bonds uh, for their transactions, returning them to the owners later. Lenders of these securities generate income through borrowing fees. Uh, data cited by insurance regulators indicate that around $1.8 trillion, trillion worth of securities are loaned, loaned annually in the United States. 
The US Securities and Exchange Commission is scheduled to vote on this disclosure rule on Friday. Initially proposed in November 2021, the rule would mandate that uh, securities lenders report each loan within 15 minutes of the transaction. And this is a huge, huge improvement. 15 minutes and uh, uh, this information will be publicly available. So I think this is a huge step uh, towards the transparent market. And uh, you can uh, read uh, uh, this entire document uh, on uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission Twitter account or on their official website. It is not uh, the longest document. And let me show you some uh, comments uh, from our headliners uh, and from other community members. So Mark Basile retweeted this tweet 15 hours ago that was originally made by Doc Lauer Debra. And she wrote, when will the enforcement of these uh, rules begin? I am still waiting in you to enforce the old rules, which would have protected me from the MMTLP fiasco. Aren't you supposed to be overseeing FINRA? You are well aware they are breaking their rules. Stop madness. And this is very important uh, statement, because uh, why in the world uh, they are implementing a new rule? that uh, potentially should uh, lead us uh, to more transparent markets if uh, SEC and FINRA uh, don't follow their own existing rules uh, to achieve the same goals. I think uh, it is uh, ridiculous. On top of that, uh, he reposted, Mark Basil reposted a tweet that was uh, made by Anna, and Anna wrote, this rule is uh, too late for investors defrauded uh, in MMTLP. Settle this, the trades, stop the counterfeiting of stocks. Esther Pierce does not work for the people, she is a hedge fund puppet. And I completely agree with this statement again, because Esther Pierce voted against, against uh, this uh, rule. And uh, we have several uh, confirmations of uh, this fact. As you can see, even Rare DD, the person who has done a lot of uh, due diligence, uh, very thorough and very important uh, in my opinion, he also wrote this, I am here on Hester Pierce voted no on everything. Why Hester? And uh, I think uh, it is a very important uh, to receive this answer as well, because uh, she has, uh, she is in charge uh, to uh, use her power in our favor, in the favor of uh, uh, the cons show constituents. And this means, uh, I think uh, a lot of people are trying to stonewall a lot of efforts uh, from uh, the retail community, from ordinary people. And uh, they just want to uh, push us back uh, in order to not allow us uh, to receive uh, this transparent market and to basically the main goal, the main goal of uh, these uh, people, of uh, these uh, wrongdoers is to steal our money, steal our hard-earned money. And uh, we have to fight against it and uh, we have uh, to push our case forward. And guys, I am 100% sure that we will win this battle because uh, our community is the strongest one, despite that uh, we are not, uh, uh, we don't have the highest number of uh, allies on our side. Uh, in general, we have uh, only 65 uh, thousand uh, uh, shareholders but uh, this power that we collected that we've already collected uh, during these uh, uh, several months uh, is extremely extremely high and uh, this power will solve this problem no matter what so i think that's all information that i want to provide you if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time bye I got the cash in the bag, stadium packed Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna